Hello Akuma fans, this is Charlie with the Gossiker application staff. Today we're working on how to recover the tool changer in the event that the operation gets interrupted. This could happen if you hit the reset button in the middle of a tool change or if your parameters are not set to prevent it, if you try to change modes in the middle of a tool cycle, you'll get this sort of condition where the machine simply stops in mid uh, tool change. So to recover from it, first thing we want to do is make sure that we are in manual mode. That's the little hand icon. From manual mode, press the machine operations button that's on the lower portion of the panel. When we push that, we'll get the machine operations interface. In this upper right hand corner you'll find a an icon listed for ATC, Automatic Tool Changer. Make sure that's pressed and on the right side of the screen you're going to see the condition of the Automatic Tool Changer. What I'm pointing to now is the ATC sequence number. This number is a step from 1 to 72 that indicates where about in the tool change process the machine is currently sitting. If it's anything other than one, then we're going to need to do a tool change recovery. So I look up here and I see that I've got a 10 in this. It's kind of difficult to see in this grainy video, but I'm at sequence number 10, which means I'm closer to one than I am 72, which helps me to decide which of these two soft keys to go with. You'll notice that the step advance and step return both have a small triangle in the upper left hand corner of the button. This is indicating that those are the options that are available. The rest of these do not show an arrow in the corner which indicates, yep, that's just not available for me right now. So I am going to use the step return because I'm noticing that the sequence is closer to one than it is 72. So as I tap the return button, you'll notice that the tool change arm will move through its process. Each time I tap the button, it'll move just a little further. I can also press and hold it and the thing will go up to its next, next logical step and cease. Make sure you continue to push the button until the door comes to a complete stop all the way closed and you'll notice that the ATC sequence should return to 1 and this little indicator right here labeled start OK should turn green. If that's the case, now we're done. I can go back about my business. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your local Gossiger staff and we'll be happy to help you any way we can.